hi, I wanted to give a demonstration of our heat mapping. And this demonstration I'm actually really excited about because heat mapping, in my opinion, is one of the most powerful things about mapping. Uh, it really brings some nice features to visualizing your data, to understanding the, the landscape, to identifying growth opportunities or even mitigating risks. And I'm not going to dive into all those right now. This is just a quick demonstration and I'll do some business um, solution demonstrations a little bit later. But this is a map I have here. But let me show you how, how heat mapping pretty much works in Topoli. This is, and this is a feature that's available to our members, to our plus members, uh, to be able to automatically heat map, create heat maps uh, pretty easily. So this is a, a data set of California in and out locations. And you notice that um, in my data sets, I, I actually made up some sales numbers here uh, that it was in my spreadsheet that I pasted in here when I created the map. So there's a there's sales data, just made up sales data associated with these locations. So if I want to build a heat map, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on layers. And in my layers, I can see this territory sets. And when I, I, can, I can say I want to add a new territory set. And go ahead and give it a name. name it in and out heat map and I'm gonna look for California counties I'm gonna build a heat map of counties click continue and now it's gonna ask how I want to color it so this is where the heat mapping comes in and I select the first option to heat map it based off a location set it'll ask me what data set I want to use and and so if I click that drop down I can come down and uh, find the California in and out data set and then it'll recognize that it, it can either heat map this according to the density of my locations. So counties with a lot of in and out locations in it will be red and, and counties with few in and out locations in it will be green. Uh, but I really want to, I want to do it by sales. Okay, so I want to know my, my best selling counties. Uh, let's say I'm going to grow and I want to put a location in a county that is performing well. I can either do it by my sum of sales or average of sales, and it just recognizes the sales field from my from my spreadsheet that I I pasted in when I uploaded this this uh, data set. So I'm going to do the average of sales, and go ahead and select the color. I'm just going to leave it the first one, and click continue, and now it'll identify all my locations and what counties they're in, and then uh, populate the colors accordingly. So now it's it's in here. It's selected as a territory set and I click finish and it'll take me back to my map it'll show me all my locations on here but then uh, it's also put in the heat map uh, according to the average sales of the locations in each county so if I, I zoom in here you can see this county has two locations in it uh, it's red it's definitely a high sales uh, county so maybe that would be a, a place I'd want to consider for growth or I can um, you know scroll up and look around at, at some different locations uh, obviously this county based off my made up sales figures um, is a lower sales county maybe maybe I don't want to look there anyway that's how you build a heat map um, I can easily do the same thing by population density and this is in and out population density do it by US counties continue heat map it um, select my my uh, data set and say I want to do it by location density continue now I have two territory maps that are selected and I, I go back to my map and it'll it'll show both of them and so I can see um, if I hide the one I can see this is the the location density you notice most of the locations are down um, down here in in Southern California so obviously that's where it, it uh, has the majority of the density um, northern has a lot of locations but it's not as dense as where it is down south so anyway you can toggle those on and on and see the different opportunities and um, in a nutshell that's the location density and have at it this is powerful powerful uh, these are some powerful features to mapping and I hope you can dive in and and see what it can do for you